Welcome to MC Squared Coaching Center and yung discussion na po natin ngayon ay trigonometry. So again, this is engineering math, math board exam frequently asked questions and ito po yung simula ng discussion natin today ng trigonometry. So I'm engineer Melvin John Banzuelo, CIS. So problem number one, find the region measure of the smallest positive angle that is coterminal with the angle negative 2 pi over 3. Again, find the region measure of the smallest positive angle that is coterminal with the angle negative 2 pi over 3. But before we discuss, ano nga ba yung coterminal angle? Pag sinabi natin coterminal angle class, ito yung dalawang angle na parehas yung initial side niya as well as yung terminal side niya. So, ito yung initial side at saka ito yung terminal side. So, halimbawa, if we have angle theta, ito yung initial side ng angle theta, ito yung terminal side ng angle theta. Itong angle alpha naman, so itong angle theta is from this side going to this side, moving counterclockwise. So, ito yung si angle theta, initial side and terminal side. Itong angle alpha natin from this initial side, moving clockwise to the terminal side, ito po yung angle alpha. So, Theta and alpha are what? Coterminal angles. So, basta parehas yung initial side as well as parehas yung terminal side that is uh, coterminal angle. So, usually, paano ba makuha yung coterminal angle? Pwede tayong from the terminal side plus tayo ng 360 degrees isang e ikot, yan, coterminal angle po niya yan. Or, pwede rin minus 360 degrees isang ikot. So, minus going going uh, clockwise, and then plus pag going counterclockwise. That is, in general, ito yung equation ng coterminal angle. So, in order for us to solve for the coterminal angle, theta, ito yung original angle, plus minus n times 360 degrees. Yung value ng n, pwedeng 0, pwedeng 1, pwedeng 2, pwedeng 1, 2, 3, tsaka 4. So, again, Yung value n na yan, yung n po is pwedeng what? Pwedeng 1, pwedeng 2, pwedeng 3, at saka 4. So, any value po. So, ano, bakit may plus at saka minus na naman? So, may plus at saka minus kasi plus po siya pag moving counterclockwise, minus po siya pag moving uh, in clockwise direction. Okay, so again, the value of n, 1, 2, and 3, and so on. 1, isang ikot, 2, dalawang ikot, 3, tatlong ikot. So, yan po siya. So, coterminal, yung given theta natin dito class is negative 2 pi over 3, kaya substitute negative 2 pi over 3. So, positive, so consider the plus, moving counterclockwise, so plus n equals to 1, Pwedeng 2, pwedeng 3, pwedeng 4, but then here, 1 po siya, times 2 pi, that is yun po yung 360 degrees in terms of radian measurement ng angle natin. So therefore, pag simplify natin, the correct answer is 4 pi over 3, and that is letter, letter B. Problem number two, a circle of radius 6 inches has a sector whose central angle has region measure pi over 3. Find the arc length and the area of the sector. Again, a circle of radius 6 inches has a sector whose central angle has region measure of pi over 3. Find the arc length and the area of the sector. Now, remember the formula of the arc length class. The formula for the arc length is S, S equals to R theta. But take note that theta must be in region. Okay? So, since ang given sa problem na ka region, no need to convert from degree to region kasi nga, yung given sa problem is na ka region measurement na siya. So, therefore, we have a given radius of 6 inches times like, the given region measurement na pi over 3. So, cancel ang 6. 6 divided by 3, that is 2. So, therefore, S equals to 2 pi inches. Ano, ano yung S? S is the arc length. And then, what is the area of the sector? So, the area of the sector is, meron tayong formula na 1 half R squared theta 
for pwede rin RS. R is the radius, S is the arc length. Okay? So, area equals to 1 half RS or 1 half, yung R natin is given as 6 inches and then yung S natin is, give, is na-solve natin kanina as 2 pi inches. Okay? So, therefore, 1 half times 6 times 2 pi, that is 6 pi inches squared. So, again, yung arc length natin is 2 pi and then yung area natin is 6 pi and from the choices, that is letter letter A. Okay, so I hope klaro po yung pagkaka-explain ko. And if ever man medyo magulo or may tanong, if hindi klaro, pwede nyo po akong hanapin sa Messenger or sa Facebook and PM nyo po ako. Pwede nyo screenshot ang part na ito and pwede at isend nyo po sa akin. So, sabihan nyo, sir, ano, ano, medyo magulong ang part nito, blah, blah, blah. And then, basta pakilala kayo na you're one of our uh, subscriber ko po sa YouTube. Again, don't forget to click subscribe and to click the notification button ng yung bell button dito sa YouTube para in just in case na meron akong update or may dagdag ako na videos, ma-update po kayo. Okay? So, okay? Problem number 3. So, sa problem number 3, find the degree measure to the nearest hundred of a degree 5 pi over 3 given in radian. Again, find the degree measure to the nearest hundred of a degree 5 pi over 3 given in radian. So, sa problem na 2 class, uh, ito yung angle conversion. Kasi ang given sa problem na to is in radian and then is and then isosolve natin or kukunin natin yung value ng region measurement into degrees. Okay, remember na yung isang ikot, okay, isang ikot or one revolution, pag sinabi natin ikot or one revolution that is 360 degrees. And there, ang sa region naman, ang isang, uh, sa, in, in terms of region measurement naman po class, ang isang ikot or one revolution or 360 degrees, katumbas niyan ay 2 pi Radian. Okay? 2 pi radian. Kung sa gradian naman, that is 400 gradian. Now, sa problem na to, convert lang natin a given radian to a given radian to degree measurement. So, paano siya i-convert? Pag ang given is naka-radian and convert natin into degrees, we just multiply 180 over pi. Okay? 180 over pi. Kasi yung half revolution pi equals to half Revolution din in terms of degrees na 360 degrees. So, cancel itong pi, cancel itong pi, 180 times 5, that is 900 over 7. In which, yung 900 over 7 is approximately, in terms of nearest hundreds, tens, hundreds, that is 128.57 degrees. And from the choices, na letter A is 182.75, letter B 21.92, Letter C, 128.57. Letter D, 91.22. Ang correct answer po dito is letter, letter C. Okay, so I hope, again, ulitin ko po, I hope klaro po yung pagkaka-explain ko or clear po ba sa inyo. Siguro sa part na ito, sa part 1, wala pa po masyadong tanong kasi nga ito ay uh, basic pa lang ng trigonometry. So, it involves angle and angle measurement. So, in this part 1, kanina, we discuss what is coterminal. Again, ano nga ba yung coterminal angle? Yung coterminal angle is uh, angles na parehas yung initial at saka terminal side nila. And then, say, problem number 2, sinol po natin yung arc length at saka yung area of the arc. Again, yung arc length is Rs, ano, R theta, where theta is in region, and then yung area is 1 half RS. Again, yung S is the arc length. And in this problem, pinakita ko po or nakita po natin on how to convert a given region measurement to degree measurement. So, yun po for problem number 3. Okay, so yun lang po for trigonometry part 1. Again, sa may mga copy ng book ko, yung tatlong example ng trigonometry part 1, even yung examples natin sa algebra na nasa book ko po. So, one of the purpose na ginawa ko itong, pinasok ko po siya sa channel ko po ngayon, is sa book ko po kasi maraming erroneous news. Okay? Type po. Error. Na, kasi po, ang nangyari sa book, pinatype ko po and then marami pong error sa 
sa book. So, kaya for checking, sa iba na hindi ko nabigyan ng corrected copy, pwede niyong panoorin dito sa YouTube channel ko. And uh, as of this time, uh, trigonometry part 1 pa lang po tayo. Okay, so again, ulitin ko po, thank you for subscribing, thank you for watching, and this is trigonometry part 1. Yung next topic natin is trigonometry part 2, I hope. I-share po natin sa iba para makatulong pa po itong topic na ito. Again, this is not only for ECE because I'm ECE but also for EE, MEC at saka, pa, at saka iba pa pong engineering uh, na may mga board exam. And this is not only for reviewees, pwede rin po ito sa mga undergrad na engineering students. Again, thank you and see you sa next topic, the trigonometry part 2. Okay, bye-bye!